Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to set up SharePoint list and we will install Postman so that we can work together with SharePoint API using Postman. So for the demonstration purpose, I am going to create a list called event registration that will hold the information about one of the event called SPFX coding event registration that will hold the information for all those audience who wanted to attend the event. So how it look like? So let's look into the schema what kind of column we will have so guys this is the schema of the event registration list which contains the username which is of type single line of text then the email that is also single line of text and batch is a choice field which contains some of the option for the batch selection then we have level of knowledge that is also a choice field which holds registered user is the beginner intermediate or, or experienced so let's quickly create this so guys i am into one of the site collection which we have created earlier and over here we are going to create a list so within this site i'm going to create a list and here i will select blank list and i will give a name event registration create. so we have created a list now we will add the column title i will keep it for the username so i'm not going to change then i will have email so i'm going to keep email over here this is the email field which is of type single line of text next we are having another field called batch so that is of type choice so let me create that that is of type choice i will call it as batch and over here i will specify batch one two batch three give it now the last field we are having is the level of knowledge field so i will select here that is also a type of choice level of knowledge and over here we will specify beginner intermediate expert we will save it so now we are done with the list creation now the second thing we wanted to do we will install the postman so let's do it so guys to install postman we need to visit postman.com slash download and over here you need to click on windows 64 bit so once you click it then it will download the postman.exe and that you need to run it it is pretty much straightforward now let's run it double click on it so it will start installation for my case i have already done the installation for your case you need to install it now and i have logged in and i have signed up for that if you don't want to log in you can use it as is but i recommend that you have to do the sign up at postman and then start working so that it gives you the capability to save your work and whenever needed you can retrieve your work from the workspace of postman so on this note i am stopping over here in the next session what we will do we will configure the postman to work with sharepoint rest api so see you in the next session till then bye bye take care